What if I told you that there was one quick step that you could perform on your reloads that would give you as good or better performance than turning your case necks? What if two seconds with this Q-tip and this mystery liquid, you could shrink your groups and improve the standard deviation and extreme spread of your reloads? In a previous video, I showed you how the seating force data variation from round to round was absolutely more consistent when we use the product we're talking about today, which is Neolube. Neolube is basically a suspension of alcohol and graphite. So with one of these fancy foam Q-tips, you can dunk it in and do two or three cases before you have to dip it again. Also, it dries pretty quick, so you don't need to worry about setting it out for a long time before you start dumping powder and seating your projectiles. But who cares about that? Show me the groups, right? Our baseline load today is using 41.3 grains of H4350, the Horny 140 grain ELDM seated out to 2.820 inches, and my 6.5 Creedmoor. My standard sizing process was used on all cases, no case neck lube was used in our control group, however, we did brush all of our cases as normal. The brass we're using today is simply Hornady Factory Brass, so if you want to see an improvement, you don't have to be using LAPO or brass, but it may still be a good idea to do so. You do you. Our baseline load was 10 rounds that went into 0.95 MOA, our average velocity was 27.27 feet per second, standard deviation of 10.5 with an extreme spread of 42. One thing I'll probably be talking about a little bit more here on the channel is the use of mean radius instead of simply the overall group size. Instead of having two shots determine your entire group size, mean radius takes into account all the rounds that are fired, so it should better represent the actual test result. Our mean radius of our baseline load here today is 0.26 MOA. Not horrible, but what happens when we add our case lube? This was a slightly larger sample size, so 15 rounds in total. I did pull shot 11 slightly, but as the internet screams at me, you weren't there, so you can still decide for yourself. It really honestly doesn't affect the data all that much. The winner is still clear. The overall group size, including all rounds, was 0.7 MOA. Remove shot 11, and it's down to 0.56. Again, you decide. Comparing the mean radius of all of our rounds, our result is 0.24 MOA. Removing shot 11, and the result is down to 0.22 MOA. Either way you cut it, it's better. Velocity average is almost identical. 27.25 feet per second, standard deviation of 8.3, and an extreme spread of 31. Smaller groups, better standard deviation and extreme spread, and the velocity overall just a couple feet per second lower. Another configuration I've tested with the Neolube, the extreme spread was lowered by 6, and the standard deviation was lowered by almost 3 feet per second. All the data I've generated so far indicates that the Neolube did give me better performance. A bottleless product on Amazon is currently running somewhere around $23 US at the moment. However, at least for me, there's an additional shipping charge, so you'll have to take that into account. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're interested in giving it a try. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the results I've generated. If you would like a closer look to see how this product affects your seating force, check out this video right here. I hope to see you come back next week, and until then, stay safe in small groups.